My name is Jennifer Lynch. I'm from the East. I've been in New Mexico for 24 years. Really love it here because of the light. I'm an educator, an artist, art fabricator. My, my life is just, it's all about art from many different aspects and it always has been. I've been very lucky to have some really interesting work opportunities to work with some major artists, work with collections, work with um, some photographers in New York, um, Bob Blackburn in New York City. Now I'm teaching at the Santa Fe Community College. I just, everything I do is somehow related to the arts. I, I always knew that that would be what I went to school for. Um, so I went at university, started at Syracuse, and went to the Art Institute in Kansas City. Um, did my graduate work at, at Hunter, and through all those experiences, printmaking was the one thing that spoke to me the most because of the process of it. I just really loved the process and the problem solving of it, the technical aspect of it. I liked that sort of scientific side and the physics side or whatever it is, I don't know, just the process. I just really, you know, having to think the project through and then execute it and, and then also get the surprise because the process gives so much to the image itself. My work is informed by the processes um, as I'm going through it. Uh, I take photographs of things. I then make black and white images of them. Um, blow them up in different sizes, shrink them down, cut them apart, put them back together. And so it's the process that, it's going through that process that develops the image. Then I have to go through the technical aspect of making the plate and then the printmaking part with the rollers and the inks and choosing colors and trying this and trying that. And as I do it, it presents to me what it needs. So it's the process that I follow um, in order to get to the image. My, my focus in the work is through observation, but the way in which I see things is kind of mathematical. Um, I see pattern. In nature, it exists, but it's something that I really pay attention to when I notice, and I work from that, and that is, it's like a non-Euclidean geometry, the uh, fractal geometry, and I deal a lot with light, so I pay attention to the color of the sky at different times of the day, and how light affects things, and how light affects pattern, and how it creates pattern with light and shadow, um, positive and negative space. And in a lot of, a lot of times my work, some people actually say that it looks almost like an aerial piece um, or like it from an aerial perspective. And sometimes I, and sometimes I think that you can look through it very deeply uh, into a deep space, but then it flattens back out. So, um, and I like playing with those kinds of things and accentuating that with color. So the negative space and the positive space are actually kind of flopping back and forth and it becomes, it becomes a push and pull of the eye. And I think that's because of the pattern um, that's just inherent in the work. And it just sort of, comes because that's the way I see the world and so it has movement and light and it changes just like nature does depending on what time of day you're looking at the piece and what kind of lights coming in the window and all that that changes and so um, I'm never going to be able to duplicate nature but I'd like to try to put the essence of nature in my work you know, nature's, nature in itself is perfect, in, in my eye. Um, and so there's no real need to just 
we try to recreate it. So I, through the work, I, I come to understand it better and how it works. And then I want to make my own imagery, which is reflective of how I feel about nature. It, it is incredibly process oriented. It's highly technical, time consuming, lots of attention to detail, but that's just my nature. Um, I'm a little OCD, I guess. I, I, I need to go through that process in order to achieve the, per, the, the my personal perfection, you know. Um, I'm not a minimalist in any means, but the work needs to be very precise and it needs to be right in my eye. What, what's right to me may not be right to someone else, but I won't stop until it's right for me. And if that takes time, if that takes more effort, um, you know, I'm very interested in the entirety of the piece, how it's presented. Um, I don't like anything to be behind glass because you can't see the image. I don't want any reflection of the viewer looking at the work, coming back at them. I just want the work to be looked at, be able to look at it. So I don't like to put things in frames and create this more of this Renaissance space. I want the space to be created in the work itself. And I think that people gravitate to one piece or another piece because of their own personal relationship with the color or something that's in the piece that is part of their history that they may not even realize, like maybe it's got water in it and they may not know that or the color of water and they're, they grew up in California or something. Um, I try to put some personification into the work, like there is a sense of movement and it's going to continue to move when the light is going to continue to change. Um, like I've captured a second, but if you turned away, it might continue to change. And when you look back at it, it might be in a different position. And I think that people perceive that. Um, the asteroid paintings for me have a certain kind of sense of the power of myth. You know, um, there's no there's no real story there, but there is something that's bigger than just the painting. And so they have some sort of innate power, some sort of life force, a portal, a portal for your contemplation, a, a gateway.